The case that the Constitutional Court is hearing could result in Prime Minister Yingluck Chinawat being barred from politics from five years and indeed could bring in many members of her cabinet. So in effect this ruling could achieve what six months of anti-government protests and sabotage of an election have not yet managed to do and that is to force Ms Yingluck, an elected Prime Minister, from power. Um, now of course being in that political of course the Constitutional Court's uh, actions and its judgments are subject to a great deal of criticism. Um, all the top courts in Thailand are viewed by Ms Yingluck's party and indeed by many other legal experts as partial, as not impartial, and as having made many rulings in the past that appear to be overtly hostile to her party. So for those reasons, her own supporters will be extremely angry if this verdict goes against her. What she's being charged with is uh, having transferred her national security chief uh, in a way to benefit somebody who was high up in her own circle, somebody close to her own family. Um, she argues and has been arguing in court that it was a routine transfer of a very senior and important official um, simply rotating people around. One court has already found that her, one senior court, that this transfer was improper. All the constitutional court has to decide is whether that transfer, that improper transfer, as the courts say, is a sufficient enough uh, breach of protocol to justify forcing her out of power and banning her from politics.